smiley face. Can you open your mouth wide? Yes, we can. Can you stick your tongue out? Yes, we can. Can you make your nostrils flare? Yes, we can. Simon's funny face. Can you pull your ears out? Yes, we can. Can you make your eyes blink? Yes, we can. Can you make your lips pout? Yes, we can. Can you show your top teeth? Yes, we can. Can you show your bottom lip? Yes, we can. Can you pull your lips wide? Yes, we can. Simon's funny face. Pull a funny face. A bear stomping, stomping. A very friendly bear stomping, stomping. Paws up in the air stomping, stomping, stomping everywhere. Kangaroo jumps. The boy, the boy. He jumps so high. The boy, the boy. He almost touches the sky. The boy, the boy. Kangaroo jumps so high. Everybody, here comes a bear stomping, stomping. A very friendly bear stomping, stomping. Paws up in the air stomping, stomping, stomping everywhere. Big growl, Rawr! Oh, my name is Simon. I like rhyme and I wear a red cape too. Simon says it's time to rhyme, rhyming's fun to do. Cat, mat, pat, sat, hat, that's what I said. Rat, bat, chat, flat, and I wear red. I wear red. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees, knees and toes. toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Now let's clap our hands for the word head Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Eyes and ears and mouth and nose Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Now let's clap for the words head and shoulders Knees and toes, knees and toes Knees and toes, knees and toes Eyes and ears and mouth and nose Knees and toes, knees and toes Now let's clap for the words head, shoulders and knees And toes, and toes, and toes, and toes, and toes, and toes, and mouth, and nose, and toes, and toes. Now let's clap for the words head, shoulders, knees, and toes. your hands on your knees. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your head. Whoops! 
I didn't say Simon Says. Simon Says, put your hands on your cheeks. Simon Says, put your hands on your chin. Put your hands on your nose. Whoops, I didn't say Simon Says. Simon Says, put your hands on your shoulders. Simon Says, put your hands on your ears. Put your hands above your head. Whoops, I didn't say Simon Says. Whoops, he didn't say Simon Says. Whoops, I didn't say Simon Says. I went to the station to catch me a train I went to the station to catch me a train Well, I bought me a ticket for when the train came I went to the parlor to get an ice cream It was an ice cream dream Ooh, I went to the garden And looked up a tree I went to the garden And looked up a tree I saw a koala It was looking at me I went to the fire truck to climb on board I went to the fire truck To climb on board And guess who's driving the truck It's me, John the Fireman on board Have you seen our friend Simon Swim the ocean on the lake He needs the water nice and warm Or his knees they will shake he loves to splash and swim and surf out in the ocean blue If the water's cold, he'll start to yodel the cold water blues He tries to put his big toe in the bath or the creek when the water is too cold, he lets out a shriek His teeth will chatter, his knees will knock, his lips will turn blue He jumps up and down and starts to yodel the cold water blues I mean, it's, it's really, really cold. There were ten in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Nine! nine. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Eight! There were eight in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Seven! There were seven in the bed and the little one said Roll over! Roll over! So they all rolled over and one fell out to six There were six in the bed and the little one said Roll over! Roll over! So they all rolled over and one fell out to five There were five in the bed and the little one said Roll over! Roll over! So they all rolled over and one fell out to four There were four in the bed and the little one said Roll over! Roll over! So they all rolled over and one fell out to three there were three in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out to two There were two in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out One There was one in the bed and the little one said Roll over, roll over So they all rolled over and one fell out And now there were no 
our little ones left in the bed. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. For Dorothy the dinosaur to sing Skidamarink. Skidamarinky dinky dink, Skidamarinky do. I love you. Skidamarinky dinky dink, Skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Sing a duet. We'd love to hear it. Grass. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky dink, do. I love you. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skidamarinky dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you. I love you. Skidamarinky do. Zamo the camel has five humps. Zamo the camel has five humps. Zamo the camel has five humps. Ride Zamo, ride. Boom, boom. Zamo the camel has four humps. Zamo the camel has four humps. Zamo the camel has four humps. Ride Zamo, ride. Boom, boom. Zamo the camel has three humps. Zamo the camel has three humps. Zamo the camel has three humps. Ride Zamo, ride. Boom, boom, boom. Zamo the camel has two humps. Zamo the camel has two humps. Zamo the camel has two humps. Ride Zamo, ride. Boom, boom, boom. Zamo the camel has one hump. Zamo the camel has one hump. Zamo the camel has one hump. Ride Zamo, ride. Boom, boom, boom. Zamo the camel has no humps. Zamo the camel has no humps. Zamo the camel has no humps. Ride Zamo, ride. What do you call a camel without any humps? I don't know, Anthony. What do you call a camel without any humps? You call it a horse, of course. Ride Zamo, ride. If you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, stamp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, stamp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, stamp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands! 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. You're all happy and you know it. going to sing the song a little bit faster. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Bear, 
There's now a sleep. There's now a sleep. Everybody clap. Everybody sing. La 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 la. Bow to your partner. Dark it out. Then you turn around. Yippee! Hands in the air, rock by your bed. There's now a sleep. There's now a sleep. There's now a sleep. taste for their feet. That mosquitoes have a mouth full of teeth. In space you can't burp or cry. Slugs have four noses, I wonder why. Or polar bears are left-handed and a shrimp's heart is in its head. Well, this cow was right, he could talk all day. This cow has so many things to say. He talked and talked, then talked some more. From the pyramids to Newton's law. Elephant's the only animal with four knees. Camel's milk won't curdle, there's no camel cheese. A goldfish has a short memory. About three seconds, that's one, two. The eye of an ostrich is bigger than its brain. That's always turn left when leaving a cave. The ear and nose are never stop to grow. A smell can sleep for three years in a row. So many things that I didn't know. Thank you, talking cow, but it's time to go. Time to go, but there's more, you see. There's the history of the world, parts one, two, three. Cow kept talking on through the night. He kept on talking to the stars were bright. He didn't stop when he gave the moon. In 83, a Japanese artist made a copy of the Mona Lisa out of toast. Rubber bands last longer when refrigerated. The sense of smell of an ant is just as good as a dog. A sneeze can travel out of your mouth at over 100 miles per hour. Giraffes have no vocal cords. Owls are the only birds that can see the color blue. Dolphins sleep with one eye open. The average person laughs 15 times a day. Up in 
a song that we all know. Di dicky doo dum ti dum do. Why don't we all give this a go? Di dicky doo dum ti dum do. This is a song that we all know. Di dicky doo dum ti dum do. So let us all give this a go. Di dicky doo dum diddle diddle dum diddle diddle dum with a rum tum tum. Di dicky doo dum diddle diddle dum diddle diddle dum with a rum tum tum. Di dicky doo dum diddle diddle dum. Ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum, die dicky dum with a rum tum tum. Ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum, die dicky dum with a rum tum tum. Ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum, die dicky dum with a rum tum tum. Ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum, die dicky dum with a rum tum tum. Die dicky doo dum, die dum do, die dicky doo dum, dicky dicky die dum, diddle diddle dum with a rum tum tum. Ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum. Die dicky doo dum, die dum do, die dicky doo dum, dicky dicky die dum, diddle diddle dum with a rum tum tum, ring a ding a dong and a ring a ding a dum, die dicky doo dum, diddle dum. If 
you're sick, he will help you ease your mind. Laughing is the best type of medicine of its kind. <laughs> your best. You need to have a laugh before you lay down to rest. <laughs>
right, everybody, it's time to point your fingers and do the twist. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? Everybody's twisting. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? We're all doing the twist. Now we're gonna go up and go down. Get back up. Today, I'm dressed as Wilhelm, a Bavarian Schuhplattler. I have my shoes, my Weidenstrumpf, my Lederhosen, and my Alpine hat. Oh, Wiggles, if you would be so kind, could you play some Bavarian music? And I will dance some Schuhplattler for you all.
if you're feeling very hungry, really hungry, you eat some food. You eat some food. If your tummy starts to rumble, starts to grumble, you eat some food. You eat some food. Fruit salad, veggie stir fry, marinara, Napolitan, Napolitan, spaghetti, teriyaki, and moussaka, eggs and ham, eggs and ham. Yummy, yummy, the table you will sit. Yummy, yummy, food for you to eat, for you to eat, for you to eat, for you to eat, for you to eat. The table you will sit, for you to eat, for you to eat. For you to eat, for you to eat, for you to eat, for you to eat. The table you will sit for you to eat, for you to eat. Hey! Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again Wincy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout down came the rain and washed poor Incy out Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again Hey there Shaky Shaky Shaking is fun to do Hey there, shaky, shaky, I want to shake with you. Well, then, shake a little faster. Shake a little slower. She falls to sleep. Wake up, everybody, and give yourself a big pat on the back. That was fantastic. Hang on a second. Lockie's still asleep. Oh, we're going to have to wake him up. And when we wake him up, let's say wake up Lockie so loud that he'll wake up and do Joni Works with Five Hammers at super speed. Are you ready? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, Lockie! Joni works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Joni works with one hammer, then she works with two. Joni works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Joni works with two hammers, then she works with three. Joni works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Joni works with three hammers, then she works with four. Joni works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Joni works with four hammers, then she works with five. Joni works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Joni works with five hammers. 
Then she falls to sleep. Hands in the air, everybody. Come on. Try that, the shaky shaky. Do the roly poly roly. Pat your head. Follow the leader. Do it for to follow. Do as I do. But you gotta do what we do. When I had my turn, I'd be the leader. It's over to you. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on. Follow the leader. Do as you do. Try this. Hands in the air. Come on. Try that. The shaky, shaky. Do the roly poly roly. Of little vampires and their little feet. See their squinty, squinty eyes and tiny, pointy teeth. Cranberry juice is their drink of choice. It makes them speak with a creepy, squeaky voice. I want to suck the cranberry juice. I want to suck it now. I want to suck the cranberry juice now, now, now. We want to suck the we want to suck it now. We want to suck the cranberry juice now, now, now. Resting in their mother's arms or walking down the street. Sleeping in a pram behind a black satin sheet. Cranberry juice is a drink of choice. It makes them speak with a creepy, squeaky voice. We want to suck it now We want to suck the cranberry juice Now, now, now Can you wait? We want it now 
Hi, I'm Simon here from The Wheels, and it's Wiggly Story Time. Now, I've got a great book here. Uh, it's from The Wheels. It says, The Wheels, here to help. And it's a book called Mind Your Manners, a book about good manners. So we're going to learn today all about good manners. Let's read this book together. But you'll see on the front cover, you've got all four Wiggles. You've got Lockie wearing purple, Simon in red, Anthony in blue with grey hair, and Emma in yellow. Now, if you look really closely, Lockie is handing Simon a piece of cake and Simon says, thank you. That's good manners. And if you look over here, Anthony is pouring Emma a cup of tea. Anthony's probably asked Emma if she'd like a cup of tea and she says, yes, please. Once again, using good manners. So let's see what happens in this book all about good manners. Here we are. Now, today, the Wiggles are going to practice their good manners. Would you like to practice your good manners too? You would? Okay, well, let's do it together. So you've got all the Wiggles. Now the Wiggles are in the garden, sitting around a table, uh, eating some food and drinking cups of tea. You've got Lockie, Anthony, Emma and Simon, drinking tea and eating some food. Emma would like to dance with Dorothy. She says, please, when asking Dorothy to dance. Can I please dance with you? <laughs> Dorothy says, of course. <laughs> so this is Emma asking Dorothy and saying, please, if she can dance with Dorothy. And please is using good manners. Now, look what happens here. Simon hands Anthony his guitar. There's Simon wearing red, handing Anthony his blue guitar. Anthony says, thank you to Simon. Oh, thank you, Simon. <laughs> so that's Anthony saying thank you to Simon. Anthony's saying thank you to Simon because Simon has handed Anthony his blue guitar. Thank you, Simon. Good manners. Ah, here we have Henry the Octopus. Henry is helping Captain Feathersword clean his ship. If you look closely, you can see Henry with eight tentacles. He's got a bucket of water, a mop, and there's water on the floor because Henry's been mopping the floor, helping Captain clean his ship. The Captain thanks Henry. You are welcome, Henry says. So, Henry's been helping the Captain clean his pirate ship. The Captain thanks Henry, and Henry says, You're welcome, Captain. Dorothy is helping Wags clean up his dog toys. Now you can see lots of dog toys here. Wags has got bones, he's got a basketball, a football. Uh, Dorothy's holding a teddy bear. There's a, a bucket with a spade as well. So Dorothy is helping Wags clean up his dog toys. Wags thanks Dorothy for her help. Ruh, thanks for your help, Dorothy. <laughs> and Dorothy says, Oh, you're welcome, Wags. <laughs> Because Dorothy's been helping Wags clean up the toys. And so Wags thanks Dorothy for helping him clean up all his dog toys. Now, Simon is visiting the Chang family for dinner. He waits for everyone to get their plate of food before he starts to eat. So you can see Simon here is sitting at the table. He's got three plates of food or one bowl and two plates of food in front of him but he's not eating yet because he has to wait for the whole Chang family to get their dinner and their food as well and then they can all eat together. That's good manners. Simon takes small bite-sized pieces and chews quietly with his mouth closed. If you look at the Chang family they're all sitting around the table eating dinner. There's Simon as well uh, with chopsticks and eating a bowl of rice but you'll notice that Simon's chewing quietly and his mouth is closed while he's eating. Well, everyone, manners are really important. They show people that you are a polite, kind person. So we learn about a lot of manners today, a lot of good manners, and it's good to practice having good manners. But let's refresh what we learned today, all about our good manners. Number one, Say please when you ask for something. Emma wanted to dance with Dorothy and she said please when she asked 
Dorothy to have a dance. Number two, say thank you when you were given something. Do you remember Simon gave Anthony his blue guitar and Anthony said, thank you, Simon. Number three is help out friends and family. Dorothy was helping Wags clean up all of Wags' dog toys, which were all over the back garden. And so it's good to help out friends and family. That's good manners. And number four, practice good table manners. Simon was sitting at dinner with the Chang family, but he didn't eat his food until everybody had their food in front of him. And then when he ate his food, he did it quietly and with his mouth closed. So that is a story and a book all about good manners. So enjoy practicing your good manners. It's lots and lots of fun. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Standing on the wall Ten green bottles Standing very tall And if one green bottle Should accidentally fall There'll be nine green bottles Standing on the wall Nine green bottles Standing on the wall Nine green bottles Standing very tall And if one green bottle Should accidentally fall Standing on the wall Eight green bottles Standing on the wall Eight green bottles Standing very tall And if one green bottle Should accidentally fall There'll be seven green bottles Standing on the wall Seven green bottles Standing on the wall Six green bottles standing on the wall Six green bottles standing on the wall Six green bottles standing very tall And if one green bottle should accidentally fall There'll be five green bottles standing on the wall Five green bottles standing on the wall Five green bottles standing very tall And if one green bottle should accidentally fall There'll be four green bottles standing on the wall Four green bottles standing on the wall Four green bottles standing very tall And if one green bottle should accidentally fall Three green bottles standing on the wall Three green bottles standing on the wall Three green bottles standing very tall And if one green bottle should accidentally fall There'll be two green bottles standing on the wall Two green bottles standing on the wall Standing on the wall One green bottle Standing on the wall One green bottle Standing very tall And if one green bottle Should accidentally fall There'll be no green bottles Standing on the wall Bok the puppet's playtime, play with Bok the puppet. Bok is our friend, the puppet. Bok is the hand puppet waving hello to Bok, our friend. 
Bok is our friend, the puppet Bok is the dancing puppet Dancing around with Bok our friend Look at his big round eyes Wearing an orange bow tie Purple, a beaming smile on his face It's Bok the puppet, hip hip hoorays Bok is our friend, the puppet Bok is the juggling puppet Juggling the balls with Bok our friend Is our friend the puppet Bok is the painting puppet painting faces with Bok our friend Bok is our friend the puppet Bok is the driving puppet driving the car with Bok our friend Look at his big round eyes wearing an orange bow tie Purple, a beaming smile on his face It's Bok the Puppet, hip hip hoorays! Bok is our friend the Puppet, Bok is the clapping puppet Clapping our hands with Bok our friend Bok is our friend the Puppet, Bok is the jumping puppet Jumping around with Bok our friend Bok is our friend, the puppet Bok is the hand puppet Waving hello to Bok our friend Hi, it's Simon here and I'm here with my good friend Bok Come on everyone, let's say Hi Bok! Hi Bok! Bok, today is story time and I was wondering Would you like to listen to a story? You would? Well, that is fantastic news. Well, Bok, why don't you go and make yourself really, really comfortable, okay? And maybe the story will begin. Now, it's time to tell a story. I wonder what the story will be. There's only one way to find out. You'll have to listen to see. Now, like a lot of stories, this one starts with once upon a time. So let's start the story from the beginning and see what we can find. Once upon a time, in a garden full of roses, lived a very friendly dinosaur. Who do you suppose is? She's green with yellow spots. Let's take a closer look to see. Now who do you think it is? That's right, it's Dorothy. Hee <laughs> Now for Dorothy the Dinosaur, the day had finally come, as it was the annual garden working bee, which was always lots of fun. Friends would come from miles around to help Dorothy on this day. Wags, Captain, Shirley Sean, Henry the Octopus would be on their way. Now Dorothy was waiting patiently for all her friends to come, to start the annual garden working bee, which was always lots of fun. But her friends still weren't here, she said. I wonder where they are. Hopefully they'll get here soon. Hopefully they're not too far. Hee! <laughs> but Dorothy was getting worried, so she started pacing up and down, walking back and forth, then in circles and round and round. Then all of a sudden she stopped. There was someone she could see. Who was coming towards her? Who could it be? I wonder who it is. I wonder who it could be. Was it Wag, Shirley Sean Captain? Or maybe it's Henry? Now we have to take a quick break. Then the story will continue on. Make sure you keep on watching. We won't be very long. Welcome back to the story. Now, where were we? Hmm, let's see. That's right, someone was walking towards our friend, Dorothy. Ruff, 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 could be heard down the street. It was a doggy with a great big bark and dancing doggy feet. Well, who do you think it is? Wags the dog. Yes, you're right. He's a big help in the garden. He can dig all day and night. So Wags started digging. Dorothy showed him where to go. 
If Wags dug up the dirt, then more roses she could grow. What's that, Wags? A bone? A bone you think you've found? You'll have to keep on digging and pull it up from the ground. Wags kept on digging, and Dorothy couldn't believe her eyes. It was a giant bone that Wag had found, much to her surprise. Wags barked with pleasure, a smile on his face. He had to leave immediately to put the bone in a safe place. Dorothy waved goodbye, but then another friend she could see. A boater hat, a tartan suit. It was the octopus Henry. Well, hi, Dorothy. What would you like me to do? Oh, if you could clean up all the leaves and water the garden too. <laughs> so Henry started spinning, started spinning round and round, creating an octopulian wind tunnel so the leaves blew off the ground. Spinning, Henry went. Faster and faster he did go. How would Henry stop? That they didn't know. All the leaves had gone, but Henry was still spinning around. He was spinning around so fast, all his tentacles left the ground. Before Dorothy could stop him, Henry went up to the sky. He said, Well, I think I better go, Dorothy. It's time to say goodbye. So off Henry went, and now he was out of sight. Dorothy waved goodbye to Henry, or she knew he'd be all right. Then all of a sudden, Ahoy there! Ahoy there! could be heard. Dorothy stopped quickly and didn't say a word. Do you know who it is? Do you know who it could be? Let's take a very quick break, and then we'll find out and see. So who do you think it is? Who says, Ahoy there, me hearties! He has a feather for a sword and loves to have tickle parties. That's right, it's Captain Feathersword, the friendliest pirate in the land. And Shirley Sean was with him, always ready to lend a hand. Hey there, Dorothy! What would you like me to do? Oh, if you could scrub the path, Captain, and pull out some weeds too. Hee! <laughs> I scrub the decks on my pirate ship every single day. And Shirley Sean, well, you can help me. What do you say? Scrumptious! So Captain started scrubbing. He was scrubbing in fast motion. And while he cleaned the path, he made a real commotion. Oh, scrub the path, yes indeed, pull up every weed. Scrub, scrub, scrub the path, oh yes indeed, I'm scrubbing the path, yes indeed, I'm pulling up every weed. Scrub, scrub, scrub the path, oh yes indeed. Shirley Sean looked on peacefully at the Captain working away. Surely, Shirley Sean would help, then Shirley Sean did say, Scrumptious! Then the captain had a lie down. He needed a little rest. But much to his surprise, he lay on a big ant's nest. Captain jumped up to his feet and said, Whoa! Ah! Yee! I think I've got ants in my pants. I'll have to go, Dorothy! Whoa! Ah! Yee! The captain continued to say. He was jumping down the street, and Shirley Sean went on their way. Well, Dorothy looked around, and the garden was clean and done. The annual garden working bee was always so much fun. Then Toot Toot Chugga Chugga was coming from afar. The wiggles coming towards Dorothy in the big red car. Toot Toot Chugga Chugga Big Red Car We travel near and we travel The Wiggles had arrived and Anthony said, Hi Dorothy, sorry we're so late for the annual garden working bee. We've been practicing our songs for the upcoming Wiggles show and now the show's about to start. We really have to go. That's okay Wiggles, all the work's been done here. You get to your show, there's always next year. <laughs> the Wiggles drove away and Dorothy stood quietly. It was another successful day for the annual garden working bee. So now the story is done, and you can always watch it again. And this story finishes with... 
The End. Hi, I'm Simon from The Wiggles, and today is Wiggly Story Time. And I've got a great book here. It's a book by The Wiggles, and The Wiggles are here to help. But this book is called Scrub, Scrub, Clean, a book about healthy habits. Now, if you look on the front cover, you'll see all four Wiggles. You'll see Lockie in purple, Emma in yellow, Anthony in blue with grey hair, and Simon in red. And I wonder what the Wiggles are doing on the cover of this book. If you look really closely, they're standing at a sink with water and they're washing their hands. They're practicing healthy habits. Let's read some more and find out more together. Are you ready? Here we go. Now look at this everyone. Well there's Lockie, but let's have a read and see what's happening first of all. Today, the Wiggles are gonna practice their healthy habits. Lockie has just finished going to the toilet. So if you look closely, you can see Lockie's at the toilet, but if you see where his hand is, he's about to push the button, which means he's about to flush the toilet. Now here we have Lockie on the next page. He washes his hands with warm, soapy water. Now the germs are all washed away. So you can see Lockie. Lockie's at the bathroom sink and he's washing his hands with lots of soap and lots of water to wash all the germs away. Another good, healthy habit. Wags is very muddy after playing outside. He needs to take a bath. And you can see Wags really does need to take a bath. He's been digging holes in the garden, maybe digging for some bones, but he's covered in mud. Wags needs a bath. Wags washes his whole body. Oh, don't forget to wash your ears, Wags. <laughs> you can see Wags in his bathtub. It says here, Wags' bathtub. So that's where Wags takes a bath. And he's washing his self, well, actually he's washing his ears. You've always good to wash behind your ears as well. You know, my nan growing up, she said, Simon, make sure you always wash behind your ears. And that's what Wags is doing now. And he's in his bath, lots of uh, suds, lots of soap, and lots and lots of water to get Wags nice and clean. It is lunchtime. Anthony is so excited to eat his bowl of fruit salad. But first, Anthony washes his hands so they are nice and clean. So you can see Anthony, Anthony's wearing blue. He's got gray hair and he's at the sink with lots of water, washing his hands. And when his hands are clean, he can eat his delicious bowl of fruit salad. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> That's right, now he is ready to eat. You can see Anthony there, he's got a fork, he's got a spoon, he's got a big delicious bowl of fruit salad, which he can eat now because he's washed his hands and his hands are clean. Ah, 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 choo! <laughs> Simon is not feeling well. And you can see Simon's not feeling well. He's in the wiggle house in the lounge room. He's lying on the couch. He's got puffy eyes. And he looks quite tired. And he's got a tissue to his nose because he just sneezed. Now Simon, he sneezes into a tissue so he does not make anyone else sick. I hope he gets better soon. Now you've got all the Wiggles here, and let's see what's happening. The Wiggles are getting ready for bed. First, they brush their teeth. And you can look really closely, you can see all the Wiggles. There's Emma, Simon, Lockie and Anthony, and they all have toothbrushes and toothpaste, and they're brushing their teeth. Simon's got a glass of water as well because he's going to gargle and spit out the water and the toothpaste after he's finished brushing his teeth. So they're getting ready for bed, but first they brush their teeth. Next, they put on their pyjamas and then they read a bedtime story. I wonder what story they're reading. Ah, the wiggly words and music. That sounds like a good story too. So what we learned today is that healthy habits are very important. They help keep you clean and well. And what you need to do is practice healthy habits every day. 
Let's remind ourselves of what some of these healthy habits are. Number one, wash your hands after the toilet. Remember Lockie? Lockie went to the toilet, pushed the button to flush the toilet, and then went to the sink and washed his hands with warm, soapy water. <laughs> a healthy habit. Number two, have a good scrub-a-dub in the bath after playing outside. Do you remember how dirty Wags was? All that mud all over him? He had to take a bath to clean himself up so he was nice and clean after playing outside. Another good, healthy habit. Number three, wash your hands before you eat. Anthony had that big, delicious bowl of fruit salad, but he couldn't eat it until he washed his hands. And when he washed his hands, he could eat all that delicious fruit salad. Number four, sneeze into a tissue when you were sick. Now, poor Simon. Poor Simon got quite sick, but when he sneezed, he made sure he used a tissue ah, 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 choo, and sneezed into the tissue so he didn't make anybody else sick. Another good healthy habit. Number five, brush your teeth before you go to bed. That's very important. Remember all the wiggles? They were standing there all together. They were brushing their teeth before they went to bed and then they could have their bedtime story. So that's another great book by the wiggles, a book about healthy habits. See you next time. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding dang dong. Sleeping, brother John, brother John. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John, brother John? Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. The night has come around again It's time to go to bed There are things you have to do Before you rest your weary head First you need to have a bath You soak so that you're nice and clean And make sure you wash behind your ears To sleep and dream Some pyjamas you'll put on And then your teeth you will brush Now go to the toilet And don't forget to flush Read a book, a bedtime story That's before you say goodnight With a yawn it's time to sleep And please turn out the light Well, can you remember what I said? The things to do before it's bed When someone says again, again it's time for bed, it's time for bed Have a bath, put on pyjamas Brush your teeth, go to the toilet Read a book, you say goodnight Turn out the light So when someone says again, again It's time for bed, it's time for bed Now you know what you should do Before it's bed, before it's bed Have a bath Put on pyjamas, brush your teeth, go to the toilet, read a book, you say goodnight, turn out the light. For more Wiggly Fun, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the button down below.